Merry Christmas solar reflector. As you see the sky dish with all the mirrors is still here but there's been a slight problem. The slight problem being is that when I first designed the Y-axis gearbox this happens. Doink. Sure he's balanced but the problem is I've attached a depper motor to a broom handle with araldite and it's just not strong enough to turn this thing round and all that's happened is the wood has just bent and sheared so there's no grip anymore but I have the solution I have turned my kitchen into ta -da! here's the solution this is an update I've managed to get this gear giant giant gear from belting online and I managed to go to a welder the other day and I managed to get this 25mm shaft welded onto here, as you see. And he's very, very strong. I'll put the camera down just a second and show you how strong he really is. There we go. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is solid steel. That ain't going to bend or break or nothing. My plan instead is to use the smaller gear. Voila, smaller gear. And the step motor will be machined onto here. So when the step motor moves, and he does one rotation, he'll move this way. Unfortunately, during the welding process, the 25 millimeter shaft has uh, warped a little bit and became 26 millimeters in diameter. So as you can see, this bearing here, which can whiz around, is just there to support the gear so it doesn't move. And I'm going to put some uh, spacers either side of it to stop the gear moving this way. So that means that when I've got the step motor gearbox assembled, he's only moving this giant gear around and there's no risk of it shifting or shearing and I'm pretty sure this will be reasonably windproof. Because when you move little gear to big gear, it increases the torque but decreases the speed. But when you go big gear to little gear, it increases the speed but reduces the torque. Now you want a high torque to move that giant mirror there. And as you see, I've made a bloody mess all over the kitchen. So a lot of filings down there. But that can all be cleaned up. And it's coming up to Christmas. I've spent a lot of money on this. But I've also got Lexi a very nice big Christmas present. And I can't wait until she opens it. And I'll send you a video of what she gets. So sadly, the project's had to stall a little bit. But I have however, managed to work a bit more on the gearbox. I'm going to have to do the same again for the, um, the Y-axis x-axis even, this is the y-axis one, this is the x-axis one I'm showing you now and that's the one that'll go left and right and this is the one that will go up and down and I've got two of these smaller gears for the two stepper motors see them? Oh, it's a back, dark background, you can't see very well these two and these ones are the drive gears for the stepper motors and one of them's got a little hole in it but I need something called a tap and die set in order to make a screw through it to secure the rotor arm of the stepper motor onto there. And I don't have a tap and die set and I've run out of money. So really this thing isn't going to be done till January. And coincidentally it's the shortest day so I'm not really going to get much sunshine to really appreciate the use of my solar reflector. So in many ways I'm sort of working hard now so that it's all ready for the summer so then I can make a nice solar barbecue. Oh I've got to show you I did a test when it was sunny. Um, where is it? Where's that floppy disk? Ah. Oh. Lexi's moved it. Oh well. There was a log and I did burn it with the solar reflector on a sunny day but I did it by hand by moving it up down left right myself using logs to support it. But hopefully after this is done it'll automatically track the sun and automatically keep that focal point dead centre at all times. Thank you very much, Merry Christmas and goodbye.